Welcome my dear friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up shared folder in VirtualBox and address all possible problems, both in the Windows and Ubuntu guest. Along with that you can also enable helpful features, such as shared clipboard and file drag and drop. First in your host PC, please decide or create a folder that you want to share. Ensure that the virtual machine is powered off. Select and go to Settings. Tap on Shared Folder. Select the folder that we initially decided to share. Enable Auto Mount. Tap on OK. In addition, if you want to enable shared clipboard and file drag and drop, please select General. And Advanced. Over here you can enable these features. Now the most important part as well as the possible reason why it didn't work for some of you, maybe guest additions drivers were not installed properly on the guest machine. Let's see how to do it. Please go ahead and start the guest OS. I'll first show this in a Windows guest and later on Ubuntu. Once you've logged into your guest windows, please locate devices from this top menu. If you do not find this menu, maybe you are in different view. To get into this view, please press right side control key plus F. Confirm this action. Please do this couple of times, you will get this top menu. Please select devices and choose insert guest edition CD image. This will add a virtual optical disk that can be accessed from your file explorer. Run the appropriate exe. After the installation, we should restart the guest for this to take effect. Post restart, let's check if we can access the shared folder that we configured in host. Yes, it works. Shared clipboard works as expected. File drag and drop also works perfect. Let's quickly see how this can be set up on Ubuntu or a Linux guest. Select devices and select insert guest edition CD image. This mounts a new virtual optical disk. For some of you it's already mounted, in that case you're not required to mount again. Please open the optical disk. Right click on autorun.sh and choose run as a program. Enter the password. This now initiates guest OS editions installation. This takes some time, so please be patient. At the end you should get this message. Go ahead and hit enter to close this window. Please open terminal. And execute these commands one after another. I have provided these commands in the video description. We should now restart the guest for this to take effect. Post restart, let's check if we can access the shared folder that we configured in host. Yes, it works. I hope this helpful. If you've any questions, please add your comments below. Please like and subscribe if not done already. Thanks for watching.